What's up YouTube, I'm Cool Party here. Uh, my popular request, uh, a few people wanted me to do the uh, Top 16 UK Prophecy deck um, and talk about how this deck actually survived a triple soul charge format and uh, made its way to Top 16. Now, there's a few things uh, we can take a look at this particular build and see how it kind of did navigate its way, you know, through triple soul charge and try to you know, appear as high in the uh, rankings as it could. Uh, first off, Fate. Even though Fate is still at 1, um, if you can continuously banish your opponent's key cards, uh, Soul Charge will never be a thing to you. Um, this particular player, though, might not have played against any Dragon Rulers um, through the entire day. I'm not sure on that, but Fate is still a very strong card, um, especially with a supportive tra 10 trap board. Um, and he did have massive draw power through Reckless Greed, so uh, don't count the deck down uh, just because it is a triple soul charge format. Um, granted, this deck does have plays, and do keep in mind that just because you know your opponent plays soul charge, they still don't get a battle phase, so you can still abuse your priestesses and go to town. So, a lot of players were also commenting about how this deck is playing triple priestess. Uh, it's not necessarily bad, um, he's not playing any temperance, uh, but you do have to keep in mind that. Justice is equally as good as Temperance um, for the time being, because uh, Justice nets you the additional spell book uh, to continue to load up your graveyard uh, to do the plays that you need to do. And plus, back row destruction isn't so relevant, so Tower can kind of float around for a little while. Um, outside of that, I question the one of Breaker. I mean, I understand why it's good. Um, powered over at 2600, uh, it's pretty relevant for certain matchups. Uh, but outside of that, I, I can see how this particular deck did decent at UK. Um, outside of that, yeah guys, this deck will be available on Dropbox uh, for those of you that wish to download it and play it. So, as for the deck here, uh, Triple Priestess, 1 Breaker, Triple Justice, the Triple Blue Boy, 1 Power, 2 Crescent, 2 Master, 2 Eternity, the Triple Secrets, Triple MST, Book of Moon, 2 Wisdom, Spellbook of Fate, Life, and 2 Tower. As for the traps, Bottomless, Triple Reckless, Triple one of Torrential, Triple Phoenix Chain, Black Horn, and Solemn Warning. His extra deck, Gachi, Herald, Emerald, Shining Elf, Zen Mains, Alucard, Dweller, Diamond Dyer, Downard, The Silent Honor Arc, Big Eye, Gaia, Dracosac, Heriofend, and Chimera Tech. His side deck, Cyber Dragon, Two Flying Sea, Triple Max Sea, One System Down, One Dimensional Fissure, uh, the two Dust Rainers, one Soul Drain, two Ravelry, and uh, two Bunk. Interesting choice with the uh, system down. I kind of think he was really fearing his Gyrgia matchup, uh, especially with the Cyber Dragon, the Flying Seas, and things like that. It really kind of made me feel that like he was insecure about that matchup overall. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the UK Top 16 Prophecy deck. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.